Hi guys, Spencer here. We just got the news that um, our league and all the other leagues at our step and two steps above us and the step below us, steps three to six of non-league, have been, uh, I believe the word is expunged. Null and void. They never happened, apparently. So all those games on YouTube that we've uploaded were friendlies, really. Um, not gonna lie, I'm pretty devastated by that news. Um, I know there's a lot of serious things going on in the world. Of course, I feel like we've got to start every video we talk about football at the moment with that. I, I, we, all, we all know that, guys. Like, It's not like we're making videos saying the league should be happening now. We all know the league can't be happening now. I do feel there's other ways this could be resolved. And I know Hashtag United is in a different position to a lot of clubs around us. And we've got to take that into consideration. I still don't understand why we couldn't just start it next season, whenever we do, as part two of this season. No, no one's given me a good reason why we couldn't do that. No one's told me why season 2021, even if it starts in 2021, like next year, can't just be part two of the season we started. Why are we so preoccupied with starting a new season? I know that players might move. I know that things will change, but that happens mid-season anyway. Why do we have to delete the season from the memory books? And I know that we're in a better position than, than many. I know that for this, for us, this has cost us, this has hurt us. We've, we're in the best in line in our league, first in line for promotion, gone. Whereas other people might have got relegated and now have been saved. So there are some teams sitting at home celebrating this. Likewise, we could have been mid-table and we could have been like, bothered, doesn't really affect us. That's how a lot of teams will be. But it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel to have, it doesn't feel right to have 70% of the season played in our case, 71%. In some teams in our league have played 82% of their games. And to have that not count. Morgan and Tiptree in the league above us are like 15 points clear. Didn't happen. Same year they got to the FA Cup second round. Jersey Bulls in a, a tier below us in Jersey. 27 games played. They've won 27. They've won every game they've played this season. They already secured promotion, locked in ages ago. They're going, they were going up mathematically, not like us, arguing points per game. They'd done it. Didn't happen. Can you imagine? Because most people aren't in this position. Most teams and players and staff, it's a, only the minority of the league that are actually in the promotion spots. So you have to be able to see things from other people's perspective. And as do we, we also have to see things from other people's perspective. And the decision makers have a terribly hard decision to make here but I don't know why they didn't just let us pick it up at a later date. I don't see who loses from that. Failing that, I don't know why they couldn't promote teams that are in a promotion position and not relegate teams and have more teams in leagues above. Because teams are gonna fold anyway, guys. There's gonna be teams that are gonna go out of business from coronavirus. I don't see why this decision had to be made now. Sure, just say no football will be played between now and August. We will decide later what happens with that league. Why have we had to wrap it up? I don't know, we haven't got an answer for this, but we have got a decision is what we're being told and it's over. So we don't go up. I'll tell you one thing though, we go again and we're gonna be doubly motivated next season. And we weren't pushing for promotion. Obviously we were in terms of we believe we should and could go up, we wanted to, but we had, you know, there's teams in our league that are spending a lot more money than us despite people's uh, reports to the contrary. You know, none of our players were on anywhere near the money they could have got other teams in our league. There's teams in our league that have spent a lot more money and aren't gonna go up. So they'll be even more hurt than us. Um, we'll do whatever we can to, to have another title push next year. It's really, really, really demoralising, but it's a short-term setback and we are building a long-term future for this club. So uh, it's coronavirus one, hashtag United nil, but it's only half time. Devs, big team talk, get the boys out, come back on. See you soon. Disappointing for, for so many reasons, whilst understandable, of course. Um, the health and safety of everybody is, is the most important thing in all of this. I think in these situations it's impossible to, to please everybody. Uh, there's always going to be winners and losers. Whatever happens, I'm very proud of the efforts of, of our football club this season uh, and our players and just disappointed that the players haven't had the opportunity, won't be getting the opportunity to, to create those moments and memories that we were able to create last year. Um, in the, on the run-in, so yeah, that's, that's a disappointment. Ultimately, these things are much bigger than us and are much bigger than football, and if it means that lives are saved 
and people remain healthy and we can get back to a, a normal uh, way of life sooner then then so be it that that's absolutely has to take priority nothing will change around how proud i am of what we've uh, we're on course to achieve this season and we can only judge ourselves over what has been played that sits well with me that you know it, it looks we look back on that and we've 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 achieved well we'll still be here and we'll st- get back to enjoying football and loving football and and appreciating the opportunities that we get from from playing a game that uh, contributes to keeping us all fit and healthy um, you know emotionally and physically we will be ready to to go again whenever the new season starts take care oh the news has just broken the season's been voided for hashtag i mean i can't help but feel anything like I've just come home and my house has been robbed, to be honest. Obviously, it wasn't mathematically you know, guaranteed. Um, games to play, you know, sure, but we're in a very, very strong position. Definitely feels like we've uh, we've had something stolen from us right now. Um, it's very raw still. I imagine there's teams, like, I know there's some teams like Jersey who have uh, mathematically already won their league. I'm sure, you know, you could argue there that's even harder for them to take. But there's no way this happens at the top level. When it's big money involved, elite football, lawyers, there's no way they would the Premier League. I'm telling you right now, I'd be very, very surprised. So it seems like non-league is paying a price that we haven't got the ability to be as flexible and play later in the year as maybe some of the bigger leagues have or some of the bigger leagues have got. So, yeah, gutted. Quite honestly, um, lost for words, I'll be honest. Um, it's tough because I think a lot of the boys and you know everybody involved with the club and even in the league i think everybody even up and down the country is going to be quite disappointed at that um at that decision but i think the thing that we need to think about is that you know this is out of our hands this is something that's very serious the coronavirus and uh, i think even the league probably wouldn't have wanted to do that but it's something that has to be done i'm guessing and um yeah just very disappointing you know people might think that all, all those trips all those journeys all those training sessions all the footage we edited all the stuff that we put out for you guys is all for nothing but the way that I look at it is that you know we're on this journey together um this is a very unusual situation and we all need to pull together very tough to take but the famous phrase we move is in full force i'm actually pretty upset that all our hard work not mine has been injured but the team's all the hard work feel like it's gone to waste. It's a shame, but it's happening, it's here. That's the decision. What can we do? Obviously, I didn't expect to be saying this at this time of the year. It's, this isn't something that anyone could have forecasted, but um, it is something that's happened. And um, disappointing for you guys as well. Travelled home and away. The weather's been absolutely horrendous over the last few months, but it hasn't stopped your support. So we're ever grateful for that. You know, thank you very much for uh, Dev's trusting in me at, at a young age. You know, as an 18 year old bloke coming into men's football, it's a. Uh, it's a challenge for like a lot of people, I'm sure. But um, joining this team, especially with all the cameras, the amount of fans, thank you to the fans, especially. But with everything, yeah, it's just a, uh, yeah, it's a hard one to take, you know. But um, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully next season brings more joy and more memories. For us, we're gonna we're gonna keep fit, keep prepared, uh, be ready for the next challenge, whatever it may be. And for you guys, it's, it's just about keeping safe, keep your mind active, keep fit, keep healthy. Keep your family healthy and um, stay tuned because we'll be back. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm completely in shock. I mean, I've spoken to some of the other boys about what they thought might happen to the league. And a few of them did say, yeah, it will just be cancelled. Like, yeah, it's already done. But actually seeing it now being official, I think it hits home a lot more. Not great news. I don't agree with it. I think the effort and the work that we ourselves as players, managers, all the background staff put in... um, at least deserve to, to have something to get that promotion. Now, unfortunately, my season never actually got started, um, but obviously it's a real disappointment for everyone involved, including myself, that um, the season has had to end this way. Uh, I hope to be a bigger part of next season. Um, I want to get back fit and enjoy my football, and that's a big priority for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep, keep, keep my mental health in check, get my body back fit, less injuries and more football time. Uh, next year up the tags. It's a pretty hard thing to take obviously the whole club as a collective works so hard like you've obviously got the backroom staff editing all the videos and then obviously you've got the boys who play out on the pitch 
So it's a sad day uh, and sad news for everyone. You know what we do at Hashtag Maui, always bounce back. Personally, I'm good. I've seen how much work has gone on behind the scenes uh, and on the pitch in order to make this a uh, successful season. We're in a really good position, second in the league, best points per game. So yeah, it's a little bit, it is uh, yeah, a little bit of good. Um, next season, go again. And obviously there's a lot of disappointment in the group. Um, for me, I think that uh, maybe decisions are made a little bit too early. We could have seen what evolves in the next few weeks or, or even come to the decision of a, a PPG promotion, but it is what it is. We go by, the, we go by what's said. And um, one thing I will say is uh, that this will uh, not change anything about Hashtag United. If anything, it will make us stronger, more committed and more determined to, to win to win promotion next season. I've been a bit of an outsider this season, but I was working towards getting back for the last seven, eight, ten games. Can understand why it's happened. Obviously, the um, it's a lot bigger than football, the, uh, the issues we're seeing and the restrictions that are being put on everybody now. So you can understand the reasoning behind it. Obviously, from our side, very disappointing that they haven't reverted to the points per game uh, scenario where we would have gone up as one of the, um, I think it was top four in the country in regards to points per game at our step. It's a massive shame for the lads. Um, they put together a, a great, great run this season, some great form, come through a lot of tough games, through a lot of adversity. A lot of people, as per usual, wanting us to fail. But um, I know we'll bounce back stronger next season. And from a selfish point of view, it means that I'll get to play another season in the hashtag shirt. So just found out season's over. Like, it's completely done. Done, dusted. Personally, wasn't the best of seasons, but listen, we all know I've got a hate-hate relationship with Ricky Evans. My season was definitely better than his. That's all that matters at the end of the day. <laughs> it's gutting. I mean, you know, the side's picked up, you know, big results um, over the past past couple of months. Um, and, you know, to to hear that, it's, it's really frustrating. But we have to regroup and we have to go again, um, ready for next season. So um, we've got to do stick together and prepare for another, another big season. And don't forget to hashtag it. And I hope to see you next season. Obviously, absolutely devastated. Um, absolutely gutted by obviously the outcome but I just want to say on a personal level it's been an absolute pleasure to play with every single player and be involved with such a great football club this season um, and I hope we can bounce back next season and then go out and claim what is ours. So that's it from us on this video guys let us know your thoughts in the comments below and by voting on the poll drop a like to show some support to hashtag up the tag don't forget to hashtag it don't go change it.